Good evening, y'all. Crystal here with It's a Journaling Thing and Journaling Adventures, Paper, Scissors, Glue, and You. You can find our group on Facebook. I just wanted to jump on here real fast and share some ideas I have. Um, and I want to show you a, a junk journal that I made using nothing but recycled goods scraps and that sort of stuff um so first um i want to show you all what i have in mind doing with these but i'll lay those aside i want to show you all the journal first so here is the journal that i made and I'm just going to do a quick flip through of it. It's not done yet. I still got some uh, tuck spots and some pockets and all that stuff to add into it. But uh, this is what the inside looks like. This right here was actually a toilet paper holder. And I turned it into a pocket and I just glued around the edge of it. And it's also a pocket behind it also. And I'll explain uh, here shortly why these pieces of paper are right here. You'll be able to see uh, what I did. And then I've got another pocket back here, which is a toilet paper roll also. And I did um, the three-hole stitch to put it all together. So, what this is, is the reason why it is different sizes like this is because... I probably will put a different kind of closure on here, but for now, I like these kind of clips on here. I think it looks pretty good. It was these things. They are dividers. Um, I've been gifted some boxes from the hair salon next door to where I work. Um... Is she uh, comes over and brings me boxes, you know, to use for the cleanup up at mom's with the fire damage and all. And um, I was just looking at these things and I was like, I wonder what I can make with those. So what I did is these are actually um, some different size ones. That's why they're, you know, short and some of them are tall and all that or whatever. So I just took them apart and I folded them and I binded them together and made this journal. Um, so, I mean, it just kind of goes to show that you can make so many things with pretty much stuff that's going to be thrown away. And basically what I did is I just took and I folded them you know, evenly like this. I'll do a couple of them, and then I'll kind of show you. So, I mean, you know, you could do this if you have any boxes that's got these dividers in them. You know, obviously they, uh, you know, were boxes that shampoo and conditioner and stuff like that came in. So... So basically just what I've done is I just folded all my pieces trying to get them as even as I could. So then what I've done is I would when I would put them together, I would put the split here, you know, like put one split. I'm going to turn it over. I'd put one split down. And then the next one I put in, I put a split up. So it kind of, you know, um, what do you, what's the word? I don't even know the word. <laughs> um, you know, it don't, 
it gives you some uh, space to be able to bind it all together, you know, doing it this way. So then the next one, I would put the slit down. And then the next one, put the slit up. And so then there you have this. And I probably will go ahead and add this one into it, but I just saved these so I could explain a little bit better to you all of, you know, what they were. Um, and so, you know, once I got, got it all together, what I did is I um, binded it together. And then I went through, actually I put a cover on it so that would brace, you know, the outside of it pretty well. And then I went through with those pieces of paper that you've seen, you know, right here. And, um, you know, filled this spot right here in to, you know, brace it up and to close that spot off pretty well. So I hope you all um, take this idea and uh, fly with it. If you have some of these divider thingies, just keep an eye out for them and you may want to make you some journals with them. So there's that. And then with these, I'm going to use these as a baron. They are actually air hockey paddles. They come with these, and it's sticky on this side. So what I'm going to be doing is obviously sticking that on there like that. I'll go ahead and do one. <coughs> All right, little boy. Don't be noisy. Kipper says hello, everyone. Hang on just a sec. I'm going to let him out real quick. Okay, so I got that stuck on there. Alrighty, so um, on Etsy, there is, you know, wooden handmade barons, and they are very expensive. Um, although I do, would like, uh, you know, do want to get one eventually, but they do cost a lot. Um, but I just got to thinking, like, what, you know, could I do instead of using one of those and spending that much money for now? So what I did is I ordered um, a set of ice hockey, air ice hockey paddles. And they came with four in the pack and four of these. And um, four hockey pucks, obviously, but I don't know yet what I'll do with those. But what a Baron is for, if you don't know, is like if you're... Um, working on your jelly plate and you put your paint on there and then you put your stencil down and put your paper on it you can take this and just smooth over and it you know will uh spread your paint out and uh get you more more of an even print so when you pull it you know it helps with that these were like i think for the whole set of them on Amazon were like eight dollars or so. Um, if I remember, I will uh, put the uh, link in the description box down below and you all can check them out if you'd like to get you some. But I think they're going to work pretty pretty well. I haven't used them yet, but and I'm sure I'll end up using them for a whole lot of other things. If you have any ideas of what we can use them for, uh, just leave a comment and let me know. But that's all I have for now. I just wanted to get on here and um, share my junk journal that I made with stuff that would basically be thrown away. And um, then I wanted to, you know, share these as far as using them for barons or whatever. So I hope you all have a good evening and um, I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you.